Hey guys, uh, my name is Shubham Chatterjee and today I'll, I thought it, we'll try and discuss about yeah, something about yeah. yourself. Now, before going into the answer uh, of this particular uh, situation, uh, just to uh, talk about my credibility, talk about who am I. I've been into marketing, uh, teaching marketing subjects for almost a decade now. I've been uh, associated with various universities and colleges across India. I usually teach services marketing, digital marketing, marketing basics. And a lot of times, you know, students ask me, sir, how are we going to answer this particular question? Think about a situation, guys, where I am maybe checking around 150 little marketing uh, copies and trust me it, it's a very monotonous job it's not that easy as well it, it's very difficult the same kind of pattern the same type of answers the same thought process of the students and suddenly you see a copy where the student has given extra time extra effort where he or she has written maybe by a black pen mark the relevant points with a blue marker kind of decorated aesthetically aesthetically and it, it's kind of really looking nice and good, right? Think about the same thing from the recruiter's perspective as well. Now, the job of the recruiter is not that easy. When they're coming to your campus for recruitment, they're having certain targets, maybe recruiting around 30, 40 guys. And it's trust me, it's a very monotonous job for the recruiter as well. It's not an easy task for the recruiter, right? Now, interviewing 50, 60, 70 in a pool campus they want to have the best of the best candidates, right? So what does a recruiter actually looks into when they try and ask something like, tell me something about yourself? First will be the confidence. Second, communication skill. Third, how relevant your answers are. Answers are. Fourth, most importantly, guys, whether you're going to be a match for the organizational requirement or not. That's, that's the most important perspective from, from the recruiter's point of view. Now, when you're trying talking about, tell me something about yourself. A lot of times students make a mistake, I see, that they try and read their CVs. Now, please understand, the recruiter doesn't want to uh, know what's there in your CV. It's already in front of them. It's already in their hands, right? So they want to understand something new, something really, really interesting about yourself. So instead of taking them through your CV, why don't you talk about your strengths? Why don't you talk about your achievements that you have achieved in, in, your, in your undergrads or maybe in your postgrads? Trust me, I see a lot of times students in their first years, and it's, it's kind of a tradition now that they have been associated with various clubs in, in colleges and universities, right? They are being a part of alumni cell, they are being a part of marketing club, they are being a part of uh, placement cell, they are being a part of a conference, uh, invitation or a management team so why don't you talk about those achievements why don't you talk about hey I've been a part of marketing cell I will convince maybe five seven speakers to come and speak for a conference you have been a part of maybe alumni cell and how do you why don't you pitch about your achievements maybe why don't you talk about how you have contributed being a part of corporate relationships cell and you have invited a couple of speakers for your uh, business school right so talk about these aspects guys don't talk about what's there in your cv right that that's one thing a lot of times you know students come and say sir i was lazy enough not to be associated with any uh, team any club during my mba days now that's completely understandable and a lot of times that happens with students they want to focus on their studies so much that they, they don't want to be a part of any any cell but all MBA students in their first year goes through summer internship, right? So why can't you bring certain situations, certain incidents that how you have worked for your organization during your summer internship for two months and how you have contributed? Maybe you have worked with a real estate firm and you have generated clients who have actually contributed for a deal of maybe two, three crores, right? So some way you have to talk about value creation. You have to talk about your credentials, you have to talk about your achievements, you have to talk about your relevance, you have to talk about your um, strengths, so that the recruiter at the end of the day thinks that, okay, this guy is the best guy to be recruited. Um, this, this guy is the best guy to 
take on board and that that's that's what it is all about you have to convince the recruiter that hey i am the best guy amongst his 50 students who are there in a pool campus important for for students to understand that uh, they are not really talking about their uh, their cv they're not just coding their cv instead they're trying talking about their strengths they're trying and playing around with their strengths in, in front of the recruiter that's that's really really important uh, from uh, the student's perspective from the student's point of view when they're trying and introducing themselves in a recruitment process process uh, for the final final interview right that's it from my part i guess uh, for today's video if you like the content if you really thought it made sense um, please do subscribe my channel please like and share and i'm sure i'll, I'll be bring a lot of videos especially i am planning to have a lot of videos in digital marketing because i have been taking digital marketing for some time now and i've done some really really interesting courses from uh, university of california davis so i i want to share my understanding of digital marketing which is again a very hot topic in today's marketing right so i'll, I'll be bringing out a series of digital marketing videos every week where I'll, I'll not be showing myself much and i'll be showing my laptop screen so that we can have a more practical uh, aspect of the way digital marketing happens because again talk about the practical nuances digital marketing is incomplete so i'm planning to touch those areas where i'll be sharing my screen i'll be really really going through the practical aspects of how do we really implement digital marketing in the real world so from next week onwards i'm planning to start with youtube marketing again which is very very important apart as a part of social media marketing under digital marketing so wait for those video videos and we'll, we'll surely be having a lot of fun during that process also guys i'm sure a lot of you guys finally students have applied for jobs successfully defended your gd topic being interviewed but unfortunately you have failed in the interview session bi session why don't you guys comment and share with me what is your view about your failure for the pi session what went wrong why did you not be able to crack the session so that we can have a more holistic approach towards the entire learning process thank you so much